This is Karen. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Shane. Today, we're looking at part two of delivery without drivers. And the vocabulary words are benefit. Benefit. Being a member of the club has a lot of benefits. Achieve. Achieve. My mom has achieved great results on her new diet. <gasps> Good for her. Suddenly. Suddenly. Roger suddenly decided to get a dog. Crowded. Crowded. The train was so crowded that I could hardly move. Indeed. Indeed. That is indeed my car that you hit. Whoops. <laughs> so we're still talking about delivery without drivers, right? Yes. We're talking about how this is really helping or this will be really beneficial. It really helps us in when we're in a in the middle of a pandemic. Yes, right. So besides protecting us from contracting the virus, that's right. What are some of the benefits that this could have? Like if we could have drones and these kind of robots delivering our food, let's say drones first of all. Yeah. Obviously, they don't have to deal with traffic. Exactly. Right? So they don't have to worry if there's like, you know, if it's rush hour, because mm -hmm. they can just fly like a bird. So the delivery time would be, be much, much faster. Right? And they can also get to some places that are hard to reach, maybe in the mountains mm -hmm. or something, where a car would have trouble reaching. That's true. But, so there are quite a few benefits of what, using the drone. So what could be some problems? Well, one thing that I can think of right now is the weather condition. Oh, right. What if there's like a storm, typhoon, hurricane? How can you use drone to deliver any kind of, you know, packages or food? Yeah, so weather could be a huge concern. Mm -hmm. And any other problems? Well... Oh, mm. somebody could steal the food. <sighs> So if a You're drone right. is kind of delivering some food and somebody sees, wow, fried chicken, <laughs> I'm starving, and they just grab the food, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. It's so easier some to people, steal. Yeah, it's easier to steal, definitely. So there's still quite a few things that you have to conquer. You have to think of a solution for. I think in Taiwan, that wouldn't be a big problem. But I think in some places in the world, you have to worry about that. Hmm. People stealing your packages or stealing your food. And also, is this delivery, you know, new way of delivery, is that going to be our future? Yeah. You know, even after the pandemic? Mm, it's going to be interesting to find out. Exactly. All right. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see. See you in the future. All right. Delivery without drivers. This future of driverless delivery promises many benefits to customers and businesses alike. Drones, for example, can easily fly over traffic and even large buildings, thus achieving much faster delivery times. They can also reach places where poor roads make delivery by trucks impossible. There are, however, still many possible problems to solve before this super convenient future can become a reality. Today's lesson is called Delivery Without Drivers, Part 2. Hi everyone, my name is Jeff. And I'm Mike. Yeah, we're talking about delivery, that convenient service where a company brings something to your home. It's something we've always liked, right? Yeah. It's convenient on a rainy night to get a pizza delivered. And of course, Amazon and all these online shopping companies, they would be nowhere without delivery. But with COVID forcing people to stay home a lot more and businesses being forced to find new ways to get things to the customers, Delivery, especially using technology, has become a really big thing. It's moving very quickly these days and drones delivering things to people's homes, whether it's in India with a last mile delivery or with Wing, Google or Alphabet Inc's business delivering things in Australia, Finland and the US state of Virginia. The future, my friends, is now. The future is here. Pizza Hut will be flying a pizza pie to your house next week the future Maybe brought not. to you by covid 19 mm. but all jokes aside driverless delivery it's kind of a necessity these days and well people have really kind of embraced it why because there are a lot of good things about it yeah this this future of driverless delivery promises many benefits 
to customers and businesses alike. Okay. I.e., we like this thing because it does good stuff for us. It is good for us in some way. And yes, here we do have the noun benefit to talk about. A benefit is something that is good for us. It benefits us. Yes, the word benefit can be used as a noun, something good. And if something benefits us, that's, being, that's the word being used as a verb, it's doing something good for us. For example, being a member of the club has a lot of benefits. You can use the pool whenever you want to. There are unlimited towels there when you get out of the pool to dry off with. Wow, the list of benefits just goes on and on and on. Is that a chess club? No, it's a oh. bathing club. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's a oh, that you kind swim of club. And towel off. Yeah. Okay, yeah. People join clubs to do something good for some good reason, some kind of benefit. All right, so let's look at some of these benefits for people, for businesses, not really for people who drive delivery trucks. Yeah. They, they won't benefit much. No. But for other people in other ways, let's find out. It says drones, for example, can easily fly over the traffic or fly over traffic and even large buildings, thus achieving much faster delivery times. Well, that's a good point. If you get something delivered at rush hour in the evening when the roads are filled with other cars and trucks and buses, it will take longer to get it. With a drone flying over the city, traffic doesn't matter, so they will achieve, the companies will achieve faster delivery times. What is it to achieve? To achieve means basically to reach a goal or some kind of result that you wanted, all right? You work hard, you do everything you should do, and then eventually you will achieve your goal, whatever it might be. If you want to learn how to cook, take some classes and practice and make a few things that taste terrible, but then you'll make some things that taste great. Congratulations, mm. you've achieved your goal. If you run in a race and get to the finish line without falling down and dying, you've achieved your goal. If you study hard and get into that really good school you wanted to get into, way to go, you achieved your goal. For example, my mom has achieved great results on her new diet. Yeah, she yeah. lost a lot of weight. She good gets job, salads mom. delivered by drone every day, and man, she looks better than ever. She's achieved her goal, way to go. Good job. Moving on. Let's learn some more about drones. Mm. They can also reach places where poor roads make delivery by trucks impossible. So you got potholes, you've got broken pieces of roads, maybe the truck can't cross anywhere, mm -hmm. can't use the road. Hey, a drone doesn't have to worry about those things. Good for people who don't live in big cities. It's good for people who yeah. live out in the boonies where there might not be good roads. Okay. Now, these are all benefits. Mm. But there are drawbacks, too. There are, however, still many possible problems to solve before this super convenient future can become a reality, mm. like drones falling out of the sky. That's not a benefit. That would not be good no. if it hit you on the head. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away and don't forget to dodge falling drones. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。我们在第一天的课文读到，因为新冠肺炎的疫情，要避免人跟人近距离接触，那么许多公司就开始推行无人驾驶的运送计划。看来无人货运服务应该会是未来的物流趋势哦。大家似乎也都欣然接受这样的发展。Travel 在开场的时候用到 embrace 这个字，它可以表达拥抱或是欣然接受的意思。那它是拼作 e m b r a c e embrace。好，那么课文写到说，无人货运对顾客和商家都有很多好处。举例来说，无人机它可以轻易的飞过车阵，不会受交通影响，甚至是飞过大型建筑物，所以它可以更快的完成运送。那他们也可以到达路况差、货车没办法抵达的地方。Chad 老师刚刚就聊到说，路上的坑洞也许会让车子难以通过，或者是太偏僻的地方，车子也许开不到。那么老师有用到 pothole，p o t h o l e， 
pothole 可以指道路上的坑洞。老师还有用到 in the boonies， 这是口语用法，是用来表达离城市很远，在偏僻的那种乡下地方。那么 boonies 是拼作 b o o n i e s。好，再来看单字 benefit。benefit 当名词是指好处、益处，它也可以当动词来表达对什么什么是有益的。再来看 achieve， achieve 可以指达到、完成。好，那这边还有一个重点是 make something impossible， 它是指使某事物不可能达成，使无法怎么样怎么样。当这个受词是不定词，当受词是 to 加原形动词的时候，我们不能用 make 不定词 impossible， 而是用 it 来代替这个受词的位置，把它写作 make it impossible to 加原形动词。例如 ，the thick fog made it impossible for the plane to land。浓雾使得那一架飞机无法降落。好，那么无人机听起来是一种很理想的运送工具嘛？可是要实现这个很科幻、很便利的未来，在这之前还有很多可能的问题要解决哦。像 Jeff 老师就提到说，无人机搞不好因为某些因素会从空中掉下来，我们走在路上可能还要闪躲那种坠落的无人机。老师用到 dodge 这个字就可以表达闪躲、躲避，它是拼作 d o d g e dodge。好，接回课文中。Delivery without drivers. Weather is one obvious example. Will drones be forced out of action if a storm suddenly hits or the wind changes direction? There is also the increased possibility of damage or theft. A package hanging from a drone is far easier to steal than one stored safely in a delivery truck. And while delivery robots work well in quiet residential areas during a lockdown, they would likely fare less well on crowded city streets. As a result, special routes for driverless delivery robots would likely have to be put in place, which means some major changes to our cities. Drones falling out of the sky—that does not sound like a good thing. Okay, bad things can happen when drones start to deliver things. Yes, they're good. Drones are great in many ways, but. There are drawbacks as well. They can fall out of the sky, and they can also be affected by I don't know weather. Well, that's a very good point. Even if we have the AI and the technology, and we don't have drones hitting each other, flying just generally can bring problems. Weather. Weather is one obvious example, as it says, as one of the challenges or possible problems for drone delivery. Will drones be forced out of action if a storm suddenly hits or the wind changes direction? That's a really good point. I was just saying that you know, getting a pizza delivered on a rainy day when you don't want to go out is great. Typhoons, you know, make the pizza places in Taiwan busy. But the typhoon would stop the drones from flying.、Yeah. So how is that useful when we need them most in bad weather? The drones will be stuck on the on the ground because of wind or、mm. rain, especially if it suddenly hits and you、yeah. can't sort of plan for this storm.、Yeah. When something suddenly happens,、mm. by the way, it comes out of nowhere. It's unexpected. It happens immediately. What the heck is going on? Something suddenly has happened. There's been this change, and you couldn't have planned for it. Oh my goodness! By the way, this word "suddenly" is an adverb. For example, you could say, "Roger suddenly decided to get a dog." I'm getting a dog. He was walking down the street thinking about cowboy boots and frogs, and then all of a sudden, he went, "Hey, I want a dog," and he got the dog. He got the dog. Suddenly, he wasn't talking about it or planning or thinking about it. No, he was thinking about cowboy、months. boots. Wow,、and、frogs! I think maybe he should think a little bit longer because getting a dog is a is a big commitment. Yeah, yeah. Well, was a, right, that was a sudden decision. Don't get a dog suddenly, but you might suddenly get off the sofa and get yourself a drink. You didn't talk about it or seem thirsty. You just, just did. did it all of a really quickly. Yeah. All right. So storms suddenly blow up. Drones are flying all over the place. Rain stops them from falling, from flying. It's a problem. There is also the increased possibility of damage or theft. 
Hmm. A package hanging from a drone is far easier to steal than one stored safely in a delivery truck with a human driver there watching, making sure people don't steal it. Yeah, you、mm. can just jump up in the sky and grab that Amazon package or something, and woohoo, you got free stuff.、Um, so there's that possible problem too.、Mm. I guess I, unless we put guns on drones, and, but that would nah, be a nah, 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 really nah. bad, bad <laughs> thing. <laughs> Anyways, and and、yes. while delivery、mm. robots work well in quiet residential areas during a lockdown, let's say, it's kind of perfect. They would likely fare less well on crowded city streets.、True. So you've got quiet residential areas, not a lot of people, not、there. a lot of drones, not a lot of traffic, <laughs> nothing in your way when you're on the sidewalk. There, for the most part,、mm -hmm. for the most part, I should say, delivery robots there, they work great. Yeah. But if you're in the middle of a city that's crowded. There are people everywhere,、Tall、and、buildings. things everywhere, and buildings in the way. Everything、Hundreds、is just getting. Hundreds of other drones. Everything is just getting in your way. So yes, these delivery robots are they going to work so well on crowded city streets? Probably not. And of course, there's more people in the city. The city is crowded, so there'll be more drones in the air because more people want stuff in a city. It's very crowded in a city. Cars are crowded on the streets. The buses are crowded with people. Shops and stores and parks on the weekend are crowded with people spending their free time. When something's crowded, we have a lot of stuff in a very small space. You're Packing things in, you want to have more space. You're not standing in a field all alone with just a a cow, you know, way over there. No, you're on a bus like this, and you can barely get your hand above your head to hold on to something. It's very crowded. It's very dense. It's packed. There's a lot of stuff in a small area. For example, the train was so crowded that I could hardly move. Mm. I didn't actually have to stand. I could lift my feet off the ground and still be up because people were, you know, pushing、mm. together so tightly. So these are some of the problems. Yep, in a big crowded city, these delivery robots—they're going to have、yeah. some problems, and as a result, special routes for driverless delivery robots would likely have to be put in place,、oh. which would mean, or which means, I should say. Some major changes to our cities. So they'd have to basically create like roads in the they sky. They would have like privileged lanes. Wow! How about that? All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. 无人机有许多优点，当然也会有缺点。那要表达缺点，我们可以用 drawback 这个字 ，d r a w b a c k。drawback 表示缺点、短处或是不利的条件。好，那无人机到底会碰到什么样的问题呢？第一个就是天气了。如果突然有暴风雨来袭，或者是风向突然改变，无人机是否会无法正常运作呢？那么第二个要考虑的是货物受损或是遭窃的问题。毕竟挂在无人机上面的包裹似乎比较好偷哎、欸，你放在送货的货车上反而比较安全，而且还有送货司机顾着，对不对？好，那么第三个要考虑的是，在拥挤的城市街道上。货运机器人也许没办法顺利的运送，因此呢，可能需要施行这种无人货运机器人的特别路线。那这就意味着我们城市要有一些重大改变了。刚刚 Jeff 老师说，这可能意味着我们会需要去规划专属特许的路线。好，老师用到。Privileged 就是形容特许的、享有特权的。这个字是拼作 P R I V I L E G E D。Privileged。好，我们再来看单字 suddenly。Suddenly 它是用来表达突然的，它是个副词。然后 crowded。Crowded 是形容拥挤的。我们其实也可以用 packed 这个字。P A C K E D packed 可以形容人或是物，它是挤得满满的。这边还有两个重点，第一个是 put something in place 或是 put something into place， 字面意思是放置到适当的地方。那引申用来表达就位，或者是像法律政策等等的施行，或是使什么生效的意思。例如 ，the law was put in place last July。那条法律去年七月开始施行
。第二个重点是，关系代名词 which 可以用来代指前面的整个子句，去引导非限定的形容词子句来做补充说明。那 which 前面必须加逗号。听起来很复杂，对不对？我们来看例句会更清楚。Molly is afraid of the dark, which is why she sleeps with the lights on. Molly 怕黑，这就是为什么她开着灯睡觉。那么句中的 which 就是指前面那一句 Molly 怕黑的那件事。然后关系子句是用来对 Molly 怕黑这件事做补充说明，所以我们用逗号把这补充说明的部分把它隔开来。好，接华课文中。Delivery without drivers. Driverless delivery may indeed be proving useful during the pandemic period. The question is, can this system thrive in a post-pandemic world? Okay, driverless delivery may indeed be proving useful during the pandemic period. Like I said before. The future brought to you by the pandemic. Before people thought the driverless delivery was a thing of the future, well, the future has now arrived. And like the sentence says, this driverless delivery may indeed be proving useful during these trying times. By the way, here we have the word "indeed" to talk about. Okay, basically, what we're saying is yes. Yes, it is. Yes, this is the case. You use this word to emphasize something. So, driverless delivery—it's proving useful. It may indeed be proving useful. It is doing this. This is the case. And again, we're emphasizing this. For example, that is indeed my car that you hit. If there were any questions still in your mind, let me emphasize this for you. It is my car. It is indeed my car.、Hmm. You're gonna have to fix that because、hmm. it's my car.、Hmm. I scraped a car in the parking lot this morning. Is that your car? I don't own a car. Oh, okay. So、But、it the is. The guy in the example sentence, yeah, he's got something to say to you. It is indeed not your car. It's indeed not my car. Okay. But indeed, that person who you, you, you messed the car up, yeah, they indeed want to exchange、uh, insurance so information I, with I you. So I indeed. Will owe him some money, indeed. Indeed, definitely, for、mm. sure, no doubt.、Mm. All right, so there we go. Drone deliveries. The future is maybe not now, but soon. So the question is, can this system thrive in a post? Pandemic world, sure. While everyone's locked up at home, the idea of having more and better and faster delivery is a great idea. But once we can get back out there, will this still survive? That's a good question, and we can only wait. It really makes you think. Yeah, really makes you think. All right, that's it for our article, and now we have the what do you think question, Mike? Yes. Do you think drone delivery will become the preferred method of delivery in the future? Why or why not? Oh, that's a tough question. I think companies will switch to drone drone delivery because it'll save them money. That's、Ooh. that's one of the main reasons, and companies love to make more money, and if they can save money, they'll do it. But I think it'll take a lot of time before it becomes really common, and there'll be a lot of bumps in that road, a lot of things we don't expect. So I don't think we'll be getting, you know, pizza delivered by drones next year, but five years from now, yeah, quite、it's、possibly, possible. quite possibly. possibly. All right, folks, that does it for our lesson, and it's time for us to say bye bye. Watch the skies. 无人货运因为疫情而兴起。那或许这项服务在疫情期间确实证明了它的用处。不过，在疫情过后，这套系统还能够蓬勃发展吗？同学们也许可以跟身边人讨论看看哦。那我们最后来看单字 indeed。indeed 它是副词，表示确实、的确。我们也可以用 definitely 来表达类似的意思，它是拼作 d e f i n i t e l y。definitely 可以用来表达当然、一定或是确切的。那么单字例句写到说，你撞到的确实是我的车。然后 Mike 老师开玩笑说，哎，他在停车场有刮到某一台车，但可以确定的是，那不是 Jeff 老师的车，因为他不开车。好，这时候老师其实有用到一个动词叫做 scrape。S C R A P E scrape 可以用来表达刮或者是刮掉、削去的意思。好，以上是今天课程讲解，我们下次见喽，拜拜。
See you next time.